Azure Digital Twins. Do you know friends, the Digital Twin is an exciting concept and without a doubt one of the most popular tech trends right now. It combines concepts such as artificial intelligence, the internet of things, the metaverse and virtual and augmented realities to create digital representations of real world objects, systems or processes. So before we discuss today's agenda, do not forget to hit the subscribe button and click the bell icon. So first, we are gonna start with what is Digital Twins. Next, we are gonna discuss about the history of Digital Twins. Moving ahead, we are gonna discuss about types of Digital Twins. Then, we will learn about benefits of Digital Twins. Moving ahead, we are gonna discuss about applications of Digital Twins. And at the end, we will close our session with the future scopes of Digital Twins. Before starting, what is Azure Digital Twin? Let's discuss about what is exactly a Digital Twin. A Digital Twin is an electronic replica of a physical object, process or a service. A Digital Twin is a digital replica of a physical object, such as jet engine or wind forms or even larger items such as buildings or entire cities. In addition to physical assets, digital twin technology can be used to replicate processes in order to collect data on how they will perform in the future. A digital twin is essentially a computer program that uses real world data to generate simulations of how a product or a process will perform. To improve output, these programs can incorporate the Internet of Things, Industry 4.0, Artificial Intelligence, and software analytics. But what is basically Azure Digital Twin? Azure Digital Twin is a platform as a service product that enables the creation of twin graphs based on digital models of complete environments, such as buildings, industries, farms, energy networks, railway, stadiums, and other structures, even the entire cities. These digital models can be utilized to gain insights that leads to better goods, more efficient operations, lower cost and exceptional customer experiences. Azure Digital Twin can be used to create a digital twin architecture that replicates genuine IoT devices in a larger cloud solution and which coexist with other cloud solution. For example, we have got a cog and this cog is equipped with sensors. Maybe they measure the revolution of this cog and they send this data into some kind of digital twin system or platform. And on this platform, we create a virtual representation of this cog. Now linking these two things, you will find it in the literature that this is referred to as FRED, which is kind of nice analogy given to these things which are inextricably linked. Now, an important thing I want to get across that you don't necessarily need twin to model things like cog or engineering engines, which is often a lot of examples you are going to see. This could process as well and I will show you few examples or how this has been employed at the moment. Let's start with a simple example of a digital twin. Now take any typical large building, probably hundreds of different systems operating inside it. It's got electricity, it's got water, it's got heating. There are various security systems, all sorts of things going on there. Pretty much every building will be hopefully equipped with conditioning unit on the top. There now, this is the air conditioning unit could have sensors on it. And this sensor is providing various details. And on typical one, we might be able to pull out the information such as temperature, humidity, air quality, fan RPMs, maybe when the unit was last serviced at. Now this data could be fed into another system where the building manager could see what's going on with the air conditioning unit. What temperature is it at the moment? When was the last time it was inspected and so on and so forth. Now let me ask you a question. Are digital twins just a type of dashboard? Well, when I started working with the digital twins, I had this question in my mind that why are digital twins just types of dashboard? I think so, there is more to it. And let me tell you more. So with all these types of devices, these are enormous amount of data they can be giving to us. It's almost 
too much to do anything useful with. This could be data from 100 of 1000 of different types of data. One of the things enable us to do is to take data process and then blend it all together to get a good stuff. And then we can start drawing insights from it, which can be start of doing something rather than just dealing with blob of data. That's good for no one. Now let's discuss the history of digital twins. The concept of digital twin technology was first expressed in 1991 with the publication of Davy Glenetter's Mirror Worlds. Dr. Michael Greaves, then on the other faculty of University of Michigan, is credited with applying the concept of digital twins to the manufacturing for the first time in 2002 and formally announcing that a digital twin software concept. NASA's John Vickers eventually coined the term digital twin in 2010. However, the fundamental concept of using a digital twin to study a physical object can be seen as much earlier. In fact, NASA can rightfully claim to have pioneered the use of digital twin technology during the space exploration missions of the 1960s, when each voyaging spacecraft was precisely replicated in the earthbound versions that NASA personnel serving on flight crews used for study and stimulation. Now, let's discuss the types of digital twins. Depending on the level of product magnification, there are various types of digital twins. The primary distinction between these twins is their field of application. Different types of digital twins frequently coexist with the system or process. Let's go over the various types of digital twins to understand the differences and how they are used. The first one is part twins or component twins. A component twins are the fundamental unit of a digital twin representing the smallest example of a functioning component. Part twins are roughly the same thing, but they pertain to slightly less important components. Next is twin assets. An asset is formed when two or more components work together to form a unit. Asset twins allow you to investigate an interaction of these components, resulting a wealth of performance data that can be processed and tuned into actionable insights. Next is system twins or unit twins. The next level of magnification involves system or unit twins, which allows you to see how various assets interact to form a fully functional system. System twins provide visibility into asset interaction and may suggest performance improvements. The process twin, the macro level of magnification, show us how systems interact to create an entire manufacturing facility. Are all those systems synchronized to operate at peak efficiency or will delays happen in the system or it will have impact on the others? Process twins can assist in determining the precise timing schemes that influence overall effectiveness. Now, let's discuss the benefits of Azure twins. The first advantage which I can think of is real-time visualization of large IoT systems. Tens of thousands of connected devices are possible in the modern IoT systems. They become difficult to manage and troubleshoot at that scale. For more efficient live management interface, Azure Digital Twins allows you to maintain a top-down view of your deployed systems. Additionally, existing IoT systems can be updated or reorganized in a systematic manner to ensure future upgradability. The next is Managed Device Connection. Azure Digital Twins enables you to manage device relationships down to specific telemetry. Each IoT device is becoming an entity in its own right as the edge computing advances and incorporates modern computing elements such as edge machine learning. Next advantage which I can think of is data processing at scale. Azure Digital Twin is also tightly integrated with Microsoft Azure IoT Suite. This means you can easily route live data from your Azure Digital Twins model to Azure services for addition analytics or storage. Microsoft, for example, suggests the following possibility for the Azure ecosystem, such as the data storage for Azure Digital Twins in Azure Data Lake, 
using Azure Synapse Analytics to analyze Azure Digital Twins data, using Logic Apps to integrate larger workflows, connecting Azure Digital Twins to time series and insight to track each within Twins time series history, aligning the time series insights time series model with Azure Digital Twin Source. Now let's discuss some of the applications. Digital Twins are already widely used in the following fields, such as the generators of electricity, large engines such as jet engines, locomotive engines, and power generation turbines benefit greatly from the use of Digital Twins, particularly in establishing time frames for routine maintenance structures and their associated systems. Large physical structures such as large building or offshore drilling platforms can benefit from digital twins, especially during the design phase. Also helpful in the design of systems that operate within those structures such as HVAC systems. Next application is on manufacturing processes. Because digital twins are intended to mirror a product's entire life cycle, it's not surprising that they have become a common place in all stages of manufacturing, guiding products from design to a finished product and all the steps in between. Next application we see in medical services. Patient receiving healthcare services like products can be profiled using digital twins. The same sensor generated data system can be used to track a wide range of health indicators and generate a key insights. Next, we see digital twin in automobile industry. Cars are also many different types of complex coexisting systems and digital twins are widely used in auto design to improve vehicle performance and increase production efficiency. Next is we see digital twin in urban design. The use of digital twins which can display 3D and 4D spatial data in real time and incorporate their augmented reality systems into the built environment greatly assist civil engineers and other involved in urban planning activities. Now let's discuss the future of digital twins. Existing operating models are clearly undergoing a fundamental change. In asset intensive industries a digital reinvention is taking place that is disrupting the operating models and necessitating an integrated physical digital view of assets, equipment facilities and processes. Digital twins are an essential component of what that realignment is. Because of increasing amounts of cognitive power are constantly devoted to their use, the future of digital twins is nearly limitless. As a result, digital twins are constantly learning new skills and capabilities, allowing them to generate the insights required to improve the products and processes. That was all for this session. I hope so you would have enjoyed today's session on digital twins. Just a quick info guys. IntelliPad provides Microsoft Azure certification training in partnership with Microsoft. The course link of which is given in the description below.